Okay guys, let's just jump into this real quick before we start to actually make this thing. Let's go over what we're looking at right here. So this is a pretty small paludarium style tank. There's the brand name. I ended up getting this at a kind of like a local fish store, but not really local. So I don't know if you're going to be able to find this exact thing online. Same with the light. So I get a lot of questions about this light. It's kind of like a knockoff Dentalair light. Um, it's really cool. And unfortunately, I just don't have a link for this exact one. Um, it's, it's cheaper, but it's still really great. If I find one, I'll throw it down in the description. I've already moved the pitcher plants and the Venus flytrap out of the tank. And I've also already made the first cut on our glass. So this right here is some 2.5 millimeter glass. You can get it at any Home Depot. That's exactly where I got it. It just comes in a square that looks like this. And again, I've already made my first cut. So I have my glass cutting wheel somewhere. I actually think it's out in the garage where I did the cut. But all I did was measure this to where this fits into the tank and we'll go all the way to the back. And now we need to decide how we're gonna make the next cut where that needs to be. Um, disclaimer though, with any kind of glass like this, the edges are super sharp. So if you decide to work with any kind of glass, get some sandpaper. As soon as you get it out, file down the sides. You're gonna save yourself from a trip to the emergency room, but you know, just be really careful guys. <laughs> like nobody, nobody needs to be cutting themselves because they're, they're trying to do something fun on the weekend. And I hope I already said it guys, but this is 100% an experiment. I don't wanna say that I don't know what I'm doing, but I definitely haven't done this before. So we're going to probably go through a little bit of trial and error here with sizing and the way that we do this, but just know that we're kinda of doing this on the fly. But okay, let me grab something to help support the back of this. So not the sturdiest thing in the world, but I think this will give us an idea of the height that we want things to be at. Let's see if that'll support it. Yeah, we should be good. Okay, so what we're trying to do is create a bottom tray. And what, I mean, what we're gonna do is we're gonna build a tray in this, basically like a planter box out of glass in the top of this paludarium. Our carnivorous plants are then gonna sit in this box and they're not gonna have any access to the water below because I don't want the peat and the color associated with that to leach down into the water. And because this will be made out of glass, we'll be able to see how much water is in it. So I'm not concerned about drainage, but who knows, it might end up being a problem. I just don't know. I guess that's the experimental part of this whole project. Right now I'm just trying to figure out the height that I want the bottom of the box to be, and then I need to figure out how far out I want it to come. I don't want it to come out too far because I don't want to limit the amount of access we have to the water portion of this tank, and I also don't want to be blocking too much of it from light because we want to plant the bottom of it, and if this comes out really far, then not a lot of light's gonna get down there. And actually, the piece that we cut off from the main piece, I think is gonna work really good as the front portion of the planter. Height wise, I think that looks pretty good. So that's essentially what we're going to have. Maybe we'll push it in a little bit farther um, and then we'll make a cut here and then we'll just have to silicone everything into place. So with the bottom portion of the plants are cut, we need to decide if we want it to sit here flush with this front lip or if we wanna raise it up a little bit higher. We can always bring the light up taller to accommodate for taller plants, but if you can imagine, this sitting here, I gotta kinda hold it flush with the water, or you know, very close to flush with the water. Or do we want the whole thing to be raised up and bring the light up? So that's where I'm at right now. Don't really know what I'm gonna do. Or I just thought of this, do we want this whole piece to sit lower? Since we're gonna build a box, as long as the front is taller than where the water line's gonna be, we could actually recess this down into the tank water. Or do we just make it a heck of a lot easier and only cut one piece of glass and make a false back? I told you this was an experiment, guys. Like, I started filming this before I really even thought through what we could do with this project. So, I said it before, but I got even more thinking to do. Okay guys, so this is what I ended up deciding to do. 
Uh, we're gonna build the planter pot and it's gonna be raised up to about the level of the front panel. And the reason why I did this is because if we just put a straight piece in the back here, we'd be reducing the water volume significantly, almost cutting it in half. And by doing that, we don't really even have room to put any kind of a pump or anything. Let me give you a better idea of what I'm talking about. So if we put in a piece like this into the back, then you can see we lose almost half of the water volume. And then if we want to put any kind of a, you know, a pump or something to circulate water, it's going to be very visible, take up more room. And so I think that this is going to be the way to do it. I don't know though. Um, if we had a bigger tank, then we could probably just make a false back and it would look just fine and we'd have enough room. But because the tank is so small, I think this is just how we're going to do it. All right, check it out. So everything's just sitting in here. I got the bottom piece on top of the Febreze candle which is actually like the perfect height. And then the front piece here is just ever so slightly off, but it allows it to stay put. So now it's time we bust out the 100% clear silicone. I gotta go grab the caulking gun and we're going to silicone this thing shut. It's gonna prevent any water from leaking down into the tank or vice versa. Um, but again, we don't, we don't have that problem because it's actually sitting up above where the water level can even be. So that's a plus. No need to mask off anything because we're just gonna get in here and it doesn't need to look super pretty. I think just by running a small bead and using my finger to smooth it out, I think we're gonna be just fine. And because it's not an actual tank, you know, we don't need to use a ton of silicone. We don't have to make sure everything is sealed in between. We don't have to brace for any um, tension that's gonna be put on this thing because there's gonna be such a little amount of force on this thing. So that makes it really simple. Let's go ahead and get set up here, get a bunch of paper towels. Silicone's really messy. Let's uh let's finish this thing up. All right guys, so we finished the silicone and we let things sit for about 24 hours and I filled this back portion up just to make sure that everything is sealed and it holds water. Again, it's not gonna be holding a ton of water, but I just wanna make sure there's not gonna be any drips down into the main tank. So this is looking pretty good. The silicone job that I did on here, it you know, wasn't the best. I was just kind of freestyling it, if you will. Not a huge deal. I wasn't trying to go for perfection or anything. But yeah, I think we're all ready to go with getting our plants repotted into this portion. I'll drain this water out. But I mean, just looking at it right now, I'm imagining how cool it would be to have like a two-tiered tank right with this filled up. So if these plants don't work out up here for whatever reason, then I'll just gut it and we'll run a double aquarium. That might be kind of cool. And just like that guys, we are done with the terrestrial plant portion of this little setup. Just to recap it, we got lava rocks down at the bottom to increase the drainage and help with aeration. And then the plantum medium itself is just a mixture of sphagnum moss, as well as a little bit of peat moss and some perlite that was in some of the existing plant containers. And so this media is going to be really airy and to help prevent any kind of water logging or anything that would be detrimental to the very sensitive roots of these plants. I also added in a little bit of the moss that was in a couple of the pitcher containers and hopefully that stuff kind of spreads around the top. I think that would look really cool. So the plants are definitely gonna be in a little bit of a shock. One of the Venus flytraps got a mouthful of dirt and closed up. Hopefully that doesn't turn out to be a bad thing. Um, but I'm excited to see what this does. In the next episode, we will finish 
finish up the bottom portion of the tank and get that rolling. So uh, I'm still thinking of ideas as far as how I want this to look and how I want it to function and what I want to put in it, but I have a pretty good idea. So make sure you guys are subscribed and you have notifications on so you know when the next video on this little tank comes out. Thanks again so much for watching guys and we will see you next time.